batteries and cells, right? In those cells, I have discarded these convert rods. And after discarding these convert rods, what I have done is I have made it clean and I have wiped it with a sandpaper. And therefore, I have removed all the dust particles water on the convert rods. Therefore, these convert rods are very clean and clear. And I have placed them in the water. This is the water solution and I have taken a jar and I have placed these two rods. Now, what I am doing is I am giving the electrical current that is the supply of current that is positive and negative with the help of a battery. Hope you understood that I have connected and this is by electrical circuit. Okay. Now, in this what I am going to do First, these copper rods, I will be wrapping these copper rods with copper wires. Okay, this is the second step what I will be doing. And the third step is, I will join these copper rods with the help of a battery. Third step. First, I have taken copper rods and I have wrapped it with copper wire and then I have joined it with the help of a battery. This is the electrolyte solution and this is the electrical circuit. Here, if you observe, see, after some time, you will be seeing some bubbles rising from the water. Those bubbles are both oxygen and hydrogen bubbles. In one rod, you will be observing the oxygen bubbles and in the other rod, you will be observing the hydrogen bubbles. These bubbles, the great sign is known as William Nicole Sun. That is, William Nicolas Sun has discovered that the bubbles which are rising are of composition of two gases that is oxygen and hydrogen gas and the rod which is dissipating the oxygen gas is termed as the positive terminal that is positively charged particles this is the oxygen gas bubbles get generated and here hydrogen Hope you are clear with this, you had a knowledge of this. Now, these hydrogen gas bubbles where it is generated, this rod is said to be as negatively charged particle. Okay? Now, by this we will be differentiating the positive and negatively charged particles. And this one is called by the scientist known as William Nicole's sun. Now, we will be seeing some more reactions such as the color change in the solution, or some metals are deposited on the rods of the carbon that is carbon rods are deposited in some materials and some materials are attracted towards it and these such type of reactions all these are known as chemical reactions the process of deposition of metals on the carbon rods is said to be as electroplating that means the process of depositing of a layer of any desired thing. For example, let us say this is a pen, right? Now I am depositing on this this white layer, white color sticker. That means I am depositing one material on the other. This is simply known as electroplating. The, the definition here goes like this. The process of depositing a layer of any desired material on another material is known as Electroplating, but we have to deposit by the process of electricity. By means of electricity, when we deposit, then it is said to be as electroplating. I hope you are clear with the definition and what does it mean. Now, let us see some examples of electroplating and what are the advantages and applications of electroplating. By coming to the applications, we will be seeing that chromium coating. What do you mean by chromium? It is a metal, right? But chromium has one more advantage that is chromium is a very shiny thing that is uh, it gives a shiny nature that means whenever it is deposited on another metal it gives shiny nature, brightness and goodness to the metal and let us take uh, this chromium plating this, mostly this chromium plating is done on the car parts and wheels and in kitchen utensils gas and bath taps, almost all metals and non-metals will be coated or plated with this chromium because of its shiny and bright in nature. And let us see now another one more application that is iron. That is iron is coated with a tin, that is tin plating because it gives 
reduce the goodness for the utensils whenever you keep any pickles or anything you do not be spoiled that means it not inserted into the iron and thus the tin coating or tin plating will stop preventing from the damage of utensils and let us take one more application that is coating of zinc on iron that means when we using iron bars iron metal as most important metal in construction of bridges dams or household anything but the uh, drawback of iron is it will be rusted as for when it is exposed to air now we will be doing what is we will be coating these iron metals with the help of a zinc metal which will be helping in order to prevent the rusting of the iron metals and gives the strongness and the strength to the buildings and these are the major advantages or applications we can say with the help of electro plating and we will be saying that this deposition will be done with a minor layers that means the major part will be the non metals or ions or good things and the lighter that means thin layers of coating or plating is done for example let us say gold and silver real gold and silver ornaments are very costly right nowadays we will be seeing that one person gold and one person gold ornaments and all that means uh, for non metals simple metals they will be used to coat with one gram or one gram thickness with the gold and silver and thus they will be made, turning them into one person gold gram ornaments and so on that means they will be very less cost let us discuss about the other chemical effects of electric current what do you mean by chemical effects of electric current it is nothing but the chemical reactions which are taking place by the conductors which are in liquids that is what chemical effects for example do you we have studied previously that liquids also conducts electricity there are different types of liquids uh, for example let us take co conductors and also bad conductors of liquids right now in these conductors we will be observing that some liquids such as salt solutions will act as good conductors of electricity and pure water that is which is having less impurities or no impurities will act as bad conductor of electricity and by comparing we will be seeing the lemon juice and potato and by doing all these experiments by keeping different types of solutions we can observe whether they are conducting or not conducting and how the strength of conduction is also now let us see the testing of conduction of electricity through liquid this is experiment can be applicable to any type of solution you can test any type by the lemon juice straw salt solution sugar solution or acids or bases in the presence of your any solutions right now here we will be seeing that i have taken one beaker right you can now see the figure here i have taken one beaker and i water it i pour some salt water that is what i Consists of impurities, salt solution. I have kept in the beaker. Later, what I did is I have different two rods, stitched two rods, that is cathode and anode, which are acting as positively charged and negatively charged respectively. That is cathode is acting as a positively charged rod and anode as negatively charged. Now we will be seeing that these two rods are dipped into the beaker, which is containing of salt solution, and later these two rods. are connected to a wire c with the help of a wire one rod is connected to the compost needle or an led which you can see on the board and the other is connected to the battery or the cells right you will have the positive or negative terminals to the battery now this is the system or this is the circuit or equipment or why this will be concluding how the electricity passes through the liquids and how the reactions takes place now in this Either we can keep this compost needle, which will deflect, and uh, which is acting as an ammeter here. When the current flows, it will be deflected, right? While we can take LEDs also at the same time. Now, these liquids acts as a salts. Now, let us take the liquids having uh, salts such as uh, salt. You know, right? It is consisting of iodine and all. That salts will, if at all, the liquids consist of the salts. 
then they are acting as good conductors of electricity. If at all the liquids are in absence of salts, then they are, they are said to be as bad conductors of electricity. Now let us take LEDs or magnetic compost needle as shown in the figure. Then we will be seeing that either by this when, <laughs> when there is a reaction, the current flows in such a way and it will be passed towards the so we will be getting reflection at the need. Now let us see here that is, uh, for example let us take these two rods made up of copper and sulfate. That is, uh, for example let us take this as copper sulfate solution. Okay. Now I have taken one rod of copper and one rod of some other metal like let us take sulfate, zinc or any other metal which is not highly reactive by compared to the copper metal. Now, when I place this copper metal, what the reaction takes place is this copper metal, some molecules or some ions of this copper that, that is Cu2 plus, will combine, will move in the liquid and they combine or the place a layer on the other rod that is, which is made up of another metal that is green or tin or sulfate or anything. Now, this type of reaction that is Deposition of one layer on another metal is known as chemical reaction and that property is known as electroplating. Previously I have said in this definition I have given some, given some idea of this also. Now let us see how this chemical reaction takes place because when compared to zinc and tin, copper is highly reactive and therefore we can say this highly reactive metal reacts that is they deposit as a layers on the other metal. So by this application we can use this as in many things such as we will be using the gold plating, copper plating, silver plating, right? Gold ornaments coated with the half uh, duplicate ornaments coated with vanilla gold or the way we see all these things by right? because all these are coated with the other metals. Now let us see the conclusion of this chapter that is chemical effects of electric current. The chemical effects of electric current is nothing but chemical reactions which the conductors take place in the liquids and even in the liquids, liquids are char characterized or classified into two types that is good conductors and bad conductors of electricity and they are a bad means that is poor conductors. Even this poor conductor liquids can also be tested with the help of using LEDs. LEDs are nothing but light emitting diodes which are used in order to decide whether the capacity or the strength of the conduction nature of the core conductors or core liquids. Now let us see here the other point that is most liquids, most liquids where the chemical reaction takes place is either in acids acids or bases or in what will be calling that is salts right which is having the presence of ions now these acids and bases you can test it with the blue litmus paper and red litmus paper of course and for acids the blue is changed to red and for bases the red paper is changed into blue litmus paper now let us see the chemical reactions what do you mean by chemical reactions that is the chemical reaction is nothing but Previously, I have said the, ele the electrodes are releasing some gases that is hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. By those gases, we can identify which is anode and which is cathode and which is acting as a positive terminal and other as negative terminal. Now, let us see the electroplating property. That is, electroplating property is just coating of one metal on the other desired metal. By this, I hope you have a clear picture around the terms related to the 